blocks. So today I brought those blocks to start off and build a half decent shed that will last the winter. Here we used to have a basement with a floor and the more we looked into it and the worse it got. So we went to the conclusion that it was much better to start from scratch. We ended up with materials. A lot of it was even doubled. We've got so many windows and double pan windows, so which is exciting because if she'd like to, the whole thing can be glass basically. <laughs> house here the first thing we're building on the side it's gonna have a greenhouse here up on the front the idea is to have the pooper and the snow is starting to stick famous outhouse over there the hat house yeah there's a bucket there's a bucket and a seat that's the idea there's a hole underneath here where i think using a bucket will be enough and a little more easy to bring to the human ore pile I'm really curious to see how cozy it stays in this building over the winter because that's the idea. I really wanted to do something with the materials that were here and so hopefully this passive solar design will help to have this thing stay warm-ish. It's a nice cozy space so today I'm gonna finish the insulation. working on that micro cabin. Beautiful day to do so. Today I did a bunch of trims. So trims on top of that, around every window. I've wired this and put one of my light switch covers. Um, yeah, no trim around here. But those windows are trimmed. Same with this one. And here I've put one of my mirrors. But this is a very nice space. It's uh, feeling pretty cozy in here. And the light is wonderful. Finish that pillar, which is nice. It's gonna give you a bit more things to, something to screw on, if, especially if you wanna like shelves across and whatnot. All right, so that's, that's exciting. It looks so much better. Hello curious human, so this is the end of March 2021 and I started this thing in the fall. It was supposed to be an outhouse here and turns out that we demolished that thing and there was already a lot of materials. So I thought it'd be good to use those big double pan windows, use all that lumber and do something a little me a bit more. Um, interesting. <laughs> so there it is. I'm done with this as it is, unfortunately. Uh, for the rest, someone else will take care of it and my part is done for now. Here I'm gonna recommend to put some metal that's gonna come from this roof because there's a big accumulation here. Uh, I'd recommend to put like a flashing, like a 2 by 2 galvanizer of any color of choice. Same for the soffit, be it inside or you know, outside like here. Ideally, you want to put a piece that follows the rafter to which you can cap. And this is also what covers the top of the roof all around. On the inside, the outhouse was supposed to be that four by eight and there's a hole underneath. And this was supposed to be it. And then we said, oh, maybe a little eight by eight instead perhaps with like a sink or a mirror and something. And then I recommended, well, I might as well have a lean against to benefit from that sun exposure, which I kind of oversized a little bit. So this is my personal vision is that here it'd be a, a nice place to have breakfast and lunch, but I envisioned this full of plants 
because uh, yeah growing food more than ever food security is super important so this space is going to be nice and toasty in the summer for plants i'm gonna have to to deal with um, closing the inside here with more transparent panels and do some painting and all but uh, yeah pretty glad about that little space um so there's also that loft over there which i recommend to put an opening window over there to deal with the heat and uh, yeah mostly the heat <laughs> i'm really curious to see what kind of paint and and finishing touch is gonna put to that so that's it that's my uh, latest build this one is called the micro cabin and yeah i love to do those things it's fun